So Casey Neistat did an episode of his vlog where he tries the McLobster and then he went to Scotch Lobster Dock to get a real lobster roll. So we decided to come to Peacemaker. Now we've been here before. Thank you. Thanks for having us. There's your baby GoPro. Oh. Say hi. <laughs> you got your tiny GoPro, but you can't put it in your mouth like your daddy. You think you're swimming, but you're not. <laughs> You think you're swimming, but you're not. Something from Nirvana's Nevermind comes on, we're just gonna throw her in the pool naked and let her swim for it. Agnes is brushing her hair with a paintbrush. Brush, brush, brush. So then we all watch Casey's vlog about the McLobster sandwich. Now, Oscar and I are both lobster roll experts. I was born and raised in Maine. We used to have the lobster on our license plate. This is Scott's Lobster Dock in New London, Connecticut, home to what is a perfect lobster roll. So then we decided to go to Peacemaker and get lobster rolls of our own. We're going to Peacemaker to get lobster rolls. And my mom has this lobster uh, doormat. Have you guys enjoyed? You know to use with good food, good crowd. We've got three and a half. No, we didn't know that we were coming to uh, Peacemaker to get lobster rolls when we put on that nautical themed dress. Hooray! Daddy daughter dinner date times two. La 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 la. No, don't touch it. La 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 la. Oh, good job. Thanks. Thank you. So we all got Maine style cold lobster rolls. I'm super excited about it. Uh, we'll see if Agnes likes them. Thank you. All right, here's the lobster roll at Peacemaker. It's probably not Captain Scott's, but better than a McLobster. Oh, do you want to try it? Oh, just dip in your ketchup. I lost a piece on the floor, but I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> Everything is perfect. It's pretty good. How are you feeling right now? It's, good. it's not the Miskwamica Club, which is by far. Have you had one there? Yeah. To me, it's the best one I've ever had. And I don't know exactly what the difference is because it's the same kind of bread. I think maybe it's just because you're not sitting at the ocean. Mm. Is probably the That's only thing point. that makes it, you know. But it's good. It's got big chunks, not too much mayonnaise, crispy and buttery bread. Too hot? If you're not going to eat that lobster bit, I'm going to take it back. Okay, we need a we need a review out here. Delicious. Ellen, Ellen what do you think oh, about man. your this compared to your favorite lobster roll place? Um, I really like it. It hits the spot for when you can't go to Rhode Island. Would still rather be in Rhode Island sitting on the beach eating a lobster roll, but pretty good second. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm really happy with the pool and I'm really happy with the food. Yeah. I'm happy to be out of the house. Fun times. Okay, they don't have McLobsters, but they do have McFlurries. So we're gonna get a McFlurry. Thanks. Have a great one. Thank you. 
We're at McDonald's getting McFlurries because Oscar says but McDonald's. I'll do one of these for Caitlin. <clears throat> We're at McDonald's getting McFlurries because Oscar says McDonald's has the best McFlurries. Um, we would have gone to Ted Drew's, but we didn't have enough time since we have a lobster in the back of the car. The McFlurry, McFlurry review? It's not even mixed. <laughs> so it's basically just ice cream with a little bit of Oreos on top, not spread throughout as it should be. The spoon, as you'll notice, is supposed to be the mixing apparatus. So therefore, there's no reason it shouldn't be mixed. So the moral of the story is, just don't go to McDonald's. Right. Go to Ted Drew's.